हेलो एंड वेलकम टू फ्लटर एंड्रॉयड एंड आई ओ एस फुल स्टैक एप डिवेलपमेंट कोर्स इन दिस कोर्स यू विल लर्न एंड बिल्ड फ्लटर और एल एक्स क्लॉन ऐप यूजिंग फायर बेस फायर स्टोर एज बैक इन सो वर्क न्यू फीचर्स इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड वर्क न्यू नॉलेज यू विल लर्न इन दिस कोर्स लेट मी शो यू गाइज द कम्प्लीट ओवर व्यू ऑफ दिस कोर्स एंड दिस एप विच यू विल लर्न एंड डिवेलप इन दिस कोर्स यूजिंग फ्लटर with firebase as backend so when the app start as a new user you have to sign up and you have to either choose image from the phone camera by clicking the camera okay you can capture any image for example if i capture it then it will capture the image like this okay and then you have the option to crop the image according to your choice okay so it is totally up to you if you leave it as original or if you want to crop it as you can see you can crop it in any direction you want so you will learn also how to crop images using flutter for the android and ios in this course and then also let me just cancel this okay also as i told you you can choose image from the gallery so from the gallery you can pick any image you want for example i'm going with this one okay so i can crop it according to my need that is okay and when i crop it i just select it so you can see the image here now after that i have to provide the registration information i provide my username then my email then my phone and then of course password now you will also learn how to visible a password and how to invisible a password of course after it you have to click on the sign up in order to sign up as a new user so it is now allowing us to register so the new account has been created and on the home screen you can see different products which different users are selling for example alia bhat is selling her handbags angelina julie is selling her eagle uh, necklace then steve waugh is selling his iphone and then robert downey junior is selling his graphic card and so on i mean michael white is selling the, his laptop then john rambo is selling watch and peter sian is selling his car just like in olx you can sell any new or used product so for example if i go to the details of let's say angelina julie post that is her product then you can see the location that is angelina julie here this is the location where you can met the seller and you can make a deal about this eagle necklace with angelina julie as you know angelina julie is the seller so this is this is the price of this uh, necklace this is the color golden and then the phone number of angelina julie and then of course the details of angelina julie as well as check seller location now just like in olx you can go uh, i mean search for any product for example let's say if i want to search for any specific product let's say i want to search for i want to purchase a car and let me tell you this is a live search okay the moment when i start typing it will just show me the search results with each word it will show me a new search result and also before coming to the search page when we click on the search icon this is basically our search page where you can search for different products which you want to purchase and here in the search page you are see the suggestions okay the already suggested items in the search screen so for example i do not want this suggested i want to search for a specific products so i will simply search for for example let's say i'm going to purchase a car let's say a specific company suzuki swift so you can see this is the suzuki swift you can just in the moment when i start typing it just start appearing for example suzuki let's say i want specific search suzuki swift so you can see the most appropriate result will appear at the top and then the other one will after that so you can see suzuki swift i can simply go through the details of this product which is car okay let's say i'm going to purchase suzuki swift then here i will see the seller location this is the seller location where i can check and see him and i can check this product 
just like you make a deal on OLX. So in the same way in OLX you have multiple images. Same here we have multiple images of this car which I am going to purchase. The, here is the price, here is the color of this car, here is the number of the seller. Using this number I can contact the seller and then of course here is the description of this car. And if I want to check the seller location on map then I have to simply click on that. For example if I click on it, it will show me the seller location, exact location in map, in Google map as you can see. So yeah. Other than this we have the call feature as well that is you can call the user, the seller who is selling this car. So you can simply click on this icon or on this number and it will just make the call as you can see. So it is now calling that user. Now after that you will also learn how to display multiple images in a slideshow just like you are seeing here on your screen. So, and then after it comes the uploading part that is as a user if you want you can upload a new product for example let's say what you are going to sell so you have to choose multiple images by clicking on that add icon let's say I'm going to sell my bicycle which I purchased let's say last month so I will simply choose multiple images okay which images I want to upload alongside with my this product let's say this one okay so I choose these five images then I will click next here I have to provide the product details so the item price will be let's say two hundred dollars then the name of the item so I will simply say bicycle bicycle mountain let's say then of course the item color so it is yellow and then some description so I will tell everyone that is hey I am selling my bicycle which I have purchased last month if anyone is interested then let me know we will make a deal let's say I mean any description okay and then when I click on upload it will start uploading my product so let's just wait for the uploading it will took some seconds as you know we have multiple images So once the new item is uploaded successfully as you know this is my product okay which I have uploaded so the new product will appear at the top according to date time okay so you can see this is just uploaded now at 4 20 12 April 2023 so this is the new product that's why I see this at the top and here with my own post I see also the edit button and the delete button however with the other users I do not see it product belong to Alia but this product belong to Angelina Julie this product belong to Steve Waugh and so on however only this product belongs to me that's why I see this edit and delete button with this one so for example if I want to edit I will simply edit the information here let's say I change my phone number so I will just type here let's say my phone number is now this okay let's say this and let's say I want to change the price of this to $99 only and of course the name of the cycle the color and the description if you want to update you can update it from here let me just remove the high parameter okay so after editing it I will simply click on update now now if I want to check then here you can see the phone number is updated the price is also updated and hey is all I mean the description is also updated that is hey is removed from it so yeah now let's say if you have multiple products if a user uploaded multiple product so as you know that currently Muhammad Ali who is the user okay who has uploaded only two products so how he will know that how much products I have uploaded so this user has to just go to his profile by clicking on this profile icon button so here you can see Muhammad Ali and here are Muhammad Ali products which he is selling so currently Muhammad Ali is selling his iPhone and Muhammad Ali is selling his bicycle which you can see here so Muhammad Ali can of course 
edit or delete his any product information he want okay so for example you can also edit or delete on the home screen as well that is on the timeline so for example if i want to delete this product so i will just click on this delete button and here you can see post has been deleted so that specific product has been deleted if i go to the profile then you can see that it has been deleted even if i delete any product from here then it will just say post has been deleted if i go to the home screen then here you can see that post or that product do not exist anymore so we will develop this professional olx clone app using flutter for the android and ios of course with firebase as backend and other than that we have of course the logout feature and you click on that you will be logged out from the app and now from here you can log in again and let's say if you forgot your password then you can click on that and you can reset your password all you need is just to provide your email here so this was my email okay my account so i will just write my email and i will click on reset now button now it is going to send me a link that is in order to reset my password so if i go to my emails then here you can see 441 i have received this email which says follow this link to reset your password for your this email so what i need to do i will simply click on that as you know olx clone app 2023 which is our project name our app name so i will click on that link in order to reset my password so i will type a new password let's say this is my new password i will click on save so you can now sign in with your new password so if i go back to the app i will simply type my email and if i try to log in with my old password then it will not allow me to log in since you know that i have reset my password as you can see user does not have a password so that is this password has been changed that is it has been reset so i have to sign in with my correct new password so i will just provide my new password which is this one okay so let's log in so i am logged in with the new password which i reset that is which i have changed so yeah that is so cool and so nice all these things all these features you will learn in this course and at the end of this course you will be able to make your own professional android and ios application with with firebase as backend i hope you will love this course and yeah see you guys in the course bye for now